In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Marvel Rivals DirectX 12 not supported on your system error. So as you can see, this is written down in my Word document over here, however I'm going to show you each and every single step on my computer as well, so we can just follow me, and then hopefully, at the end, we've solved the issue and you can finally play the game. Now let's begin. The first thing you want to do is check whether you have DirectX 12 installed on your computer, and this is actually very easy. All you have to do for this is to go to DXDIAG, and the way you do this is by going down to your Windows taskbar, clicking on the search icon, and typing in run. Then you want to simply open this up, and type in what you see over here, which is DXDIAG. Then you want to press OK. In here, at the very bottom of this pop-up window, it's going to say DirectX version, and if it says DirectX 12, you're good and you don't need to do anything. Now, if it doesn't say DirectX 12, if it says, for example, 11 or 10, you may have an issue over here and we're going to try to fix it. Now, the easiest way and the best way to fix it is to simply go down here to search yet again and type in update. Then, it's going to open up, check for, win for updates inside system settings, you want to click this. And then over here, it will give you the option to update your Windows 11 or whatever you have. Now, if you don't see any updates, you want to click check for updates and Windows is going to look for updates automatically. If it can't find anything, it means you have the latest version of Windows and you're good. But if it does find anything at all, simply run it up and run up the updates and let your computer update the latest version. This may and probably will update your DirectX to the latest version. Now, if this doesn't help, and if your DirectX 12 still isn't at this version, uh, I mean, if your DirectX still isn't at 12, so at version 12, what you want to do is search on Google if it's possible to kind of install this from Microsoft, but usually those things don't work because it's the problem inside your computer that it doesn't support DirectX 12. Now, if that's, not, if that, if that's the case for you, you may have to replace your graphics card or your entire computer. Now, if you have DirectX 12, which I hope and assume you do now, the second thing we have to do is to go to Device Manager and then check some info you'll need for later. <clears throat> the way you do this is by clicking Search down here yet again and typing in Device and then Manager and it's going to pop up. You want to click it. You're not going to see this message because I'm on, not an admin user of PC, so just ignore it. And then over here, this will pop up, which is the Device Manager. You want to go under Display Adapters and either double click or click this arrow next to it. And over here, this is very important. If you see only one thing, so only one thing on the list, for example, AMD Radeon TM graphics, just like I have over here, or if you only see, let's say, Intel or Intel HD graphics, whatever number there is, this could mean and probably means you have an integrated graphics card inside your computer and it most likely means you have a laptop with an integrated graphics card that isn't a gaming laptop because laptops use those cards to kind of support different basic processes on your computer but not really have you gaming okay and this may be the issue why your game can't launch because it doesn't have good enough of a graphics card now if that's the case i'll tell you later what to do and what you can do to kind of fix this issue. But for now, let's focus if you have two of these cards, or if you only have a dedicated graphics card, which is dedicated for gaming and for running heavy games, okay? For me, as you can see, I have two graphics cards uh, because I have a gaming laptop. The first one is basically an integrated graphics card, and the second one, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU, is a dedicated graphics card for gaming. If you do have a second graphics card, that's a very good sign, we're gonna be probably able to run the game for you, okay? But if you only have one, there's still some hope and wait, because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it, okay? At the end of these steps. Now, over here, you may have NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, whatever. It doesn't matter, just write this down and remember which one you have. Now, 
Once that's done, there's their step two, which is to download the newest NVIDIA slash AMD or Intel drivers. And the easiest way to do this, I'm gonna show you for each and every single graphics card, is for NVIDIA to download the NVIDIA app or the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Just type NVIDIA app or NVIDIA GeForce Experience into Google and download it from the NVIDIA website. It's very easy and uh, it will allow you to update your drivers. Now, it doesn't matter which one you choose because it's basically the same app, it just has a little different features, okay? <clears throat> For me, I have GeForce, as you can see, installed over here, GeForce Experience. You wanna open this up, once you download it, you will have to log in, and then inside, you wanna go to Drivers up here, click on these three dots here on the right, and then make sure you select the Game Ready Driver, which says it provides the best gaming experience. Now, once you click this, you'll get a green kinda a circle next to it. It means you have switched to the Game Ready Driver. What you then have to do is click Check for Updates and download the latest update. You simply have to click Download and this app will automatically download and install the driver for you onto your computer. Then what you wanna do is simply restart your computer and hopefully this will run your game smoothly and it will run your game um, like it should, okay? Now, you can do the exact same thing for AMD graphics cards, and this is by downloading AMD Adrenaline, okay? Now, this is also found on the AMD website, simply type in AMD Adrenaline into Google and you're good. For me, I have it installed as well, as you can see, I have AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, or AMD Adrenaline, which is pretty much the same thing. And I don't think you actually have to log in here, but if you do, just log in, it's very easy. And then in here, go inside home, and you'll see driver and software up here on the right. Now you can see my current version and when it is released, if you have a dedicated graphics card <coughs> from uh, AMD, you will be able to see over here the status of your current drivers. So if you have the latest driver or if there's an ability for you to update. If you can update this or click up here this arrow and if it shows you any options to update or upgrade your driver, click that upgraded, restart your computer, and then you'll probably be able to run your game as you should. Now, that's it for AMD and for NVIDIA, and for Intel, I'm going to show you how to do right now, okay, in step three. So step three would be to manually download the newest NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel drivers. Now, the first one you can uh, download is NVIDIA, of course, as I said, if that didn't work, manually download drivers. Go to this website, so nvidia.com slash en dash us slash drivers. It looks something like this over here. And you will have to put in your information we just wrote down earlier from the device manager. Put that in, find your driver, download it, let it install on your computer, restart your computer, and hopefully that will fix the issue. The exact same thing can be done for AMD on this website. You can just retype it over here as you can see, or just type into Google AMD drivers or something like this and it will open up. And then in here, you can also search for the AMD product to download the latest drivers for. Now, over here, <clears throat> we also have the option to do it for, Invi for Intel. But as I said, Intel graphics cards are a bit tricky because they're usually integrated and may not allow you to do it. So simply type into Google Intel driver download which is this link over here, as you can see, Intel driver download or download driver, and then go to this website, click on graphics, and look for your graphics driver over here that you have or for your graphics card. Now, if you don't see the option to download or if you download and it says you have already installed the latest version and if it still doesn't fix the issue, I'm gonna tell you why that is right now. But if it does work for you on an Intel integrated graphics card, that's great and I'm happy for you, okay? Now, as I said, <clears throat> simply download this, install it and hopefully it fixes the issue. But this one is a bit sketchy and it probably, most likely, sadly will not work yet, okay? Why I'm saying yet is because of the following. Now, as I said, oh, I mistyped this here. It's Marvel, excuse me, it's Marvel Rivals, there we go. Unfortunately, Marvel Rivals does require a dedicated graphics card most of the time. It does work with some graphics cards that are integrated. I don't know why that is, it just does. But most of the time, you will need an, inter an external, so I mean a dedicated graphics card, not external, excuse me, dedicated graphics card for playing the game. Now, it is going to be usually NVIDIA or AMD, as I said, and uh, yes. However, 
they are working, the developers are actively working on it, and you should be able to play soon, even with an integrated graphics card. So, new games that come out are usually only playable via the dedicated graphics cards, but they usually quite soon become available to play, and you'll be able to play them with your integrated graphics cards as well. So, if you have NVIDIA or AMD, you've probably fixed this issue by now, and I'm happy for you, but if you have Intel and you haven't fixed this issue and there's nothing you can do, there's actually two things I promised earlier I'm going to show you that you can do. The first one is to simply, as I said, wait, of course, but that really doesn't fix your issue, does it? Now, what you can do is also buy a dedicated graphics card. Now, these can be quite cheap and this game will run with a graphics card that probably isn't too expensive. You can install it easily inside your PC, if you have a, a box you can install it easily, or if you have a laptop it's also possible but it's a bit harder. However, if you don't want to buy a new a graphics card and you're a, a gamer basically and you have an older computer, I would actually recommend to just buy a gaming laptop or a gaming PC and this will solve all your issues and you'll be able to play the games you want without any issues and without any of these errors. So, I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.